everybody, Invisible Katani here. I'm doing a review for Disney World because I recently got back from my vacation to Florida. So, of course, we went to Disney World. We also went to Universal. Um, I went, we started at the Magic Kingdom and ended at the Magic Kingdom, but most of this review, which is obviously in the title, is pretty much going to be focused on uh, the Hollywood Studios portion of uh, Disney World because that's where it pretty much spent the entire time outside of seriously the beginning and the end of it but I will talk about my experience at the Magic Kingdom since that's where I started so it'll kind of just go in line with the actual day but to start off with the Magic Kingdom didn't have the best time it was not super magical for me it was like you know we got on our first ride had you know the Magic Kingdom had a magic malfunction and that was super minor we were on like Stitch's Great Escape it was like less than a minute maybe a minute and they fix it no big deal that was like nothing because it wasn't really a ride it was one of the things where you sit down and it's kind of the interactive experience so there was no big deal there once they fixed it the only thing was that the audio and the video were delayed and that was it so it was like whatever that's a super minor thing i didn't care and then we got on space mountain and that completely shut down after we waited almost the entire time we were in there the wait time was like 90 minutes we basically did the full 90 minutes and as we were in we maybe had 15 more minutes to wait because we were actually in the final part of the line. It shut down, and so we had to take off. And it was like, that really blows. So the first, I guess technically, like the first two hours really kind of sucked because waiting that whole time and then it shut down, it wiped away what little good happened. Because when we first got to the Magic Kingdom, we actually saw like one of the little parades they did. And the Stitch's Great Escape Ride was pretty cool, but just waiting all that time and the ride broke down, it destroyed all the good stuff that happened because I was like, that wasn't amazing. It was just like, oh, that's cool because I've never been to Disney World, so it's cool to experience it. But waiting all that time and the ride broke down was just terrible. And then right after that is when we went to Hollywood Studios, my girlfriend and I, because that's where we had all of our Fast Pass stuff uh, set up, which is you get three Fast Passes uh, with a ticket. But you have to set them up for whatever reason. They only let you set them up in the same uh, theme park because they're like six in one theme parks which I had no idea when we went but you have to set them up all in the same place and I was like well Hollywood Studios has Star Wars and Star Wars is better than everything so that's where all my stuff was set up it was like one of the rides was Star Wars um, I had the Tower of Terror on there as well and then I had uh, a rock and roller coaster which is uh, which features Aerosmith which is pretty cool as well so the first two hours was basically waiting for the ride and then waiting for the bus to take us from the Magic Kingdom to Hollywood Studios because they're so far apart that you have to uh, take them take buses to get to the other theme parks and I think because the Hollywood Studios portion I guess was built last the monorail doesn't go to it like the monorail I believe goes to the other four uh, main parks but it doesn't go over to Hollywood Studios I think it goes to the other three main parks and it goes to the two water parks as well and like Hollywood Studios is like built like too far off so they didn't add to the monorail because it's so far away so we had to wait for the bus and that took a while and then we got on the bus got us there in about 10 minutes or 15 minutes or so once we got there everything picked up I loved Hollywood Studios I had a great freaking time there it was a bunch of Star Wars stuff because I'm a huge Star Wars fan so Star Wars is their new big thing and it's basically you go that way Star Wars you go that way it's another Star Wars thing so it's like you get bookended with Star Wars stuff their center stage is just full-on big Star Wars display where they have like all the uh, costume characters I don't believe they had any of like the uh, any actors playing like the human characters which is kind of normal for most shows it's just like only the costumed uh, characters but that was really cool I didn't really get to see that I caught like the very end of it but they had all the people on stage and it just looked really cool um, when you go down if basically if you go left uh, once you get kind of towards the middle of Hollywood Studios you would get to Star Tours which is the big ride uh, that I got on with which that was my favorite ride the whole time we were there and I actually got to get on twice because um, when we first got to Hollywood Studios, our initial plan, because uh, we had the Fast Passes set up, was to get on the Tower of Terror. But my girlfriend and I didn't have, our, we couldn't get our time set for exactly the same time. So she wasn't able to get on the Tower of Terror because we had to wait that extra time for the bus to get there, get to the Magic Kingdom and drop us off. So she wasn't able to make it. I barely made it um, because of the bus ride. Like I went to the restroom and I came out of the restroom like, crap, I have like, 
three minutes now to get to my thing before it runs out of time and I have to wait in the normal line. So I like ran to the Tower of Terror, which is terrible when you're already in Florida and it was super hot, of course. So I was in the line like sweating like crazy, but fortunately it took like four minutes for me to get on the ride and everything. So I had a good time with that. And I was, you know, that was nice and simple for me. And you know, she met up with a friend, and so we got into, uh, we went to Star Tours, and our friend worked there. So we went to Star Tours, and I was like, well, we should probably get in line for a different ride, because I already have the Fast Pass for this later, and my girlfriend didn't really care, because she's not, you know, a really big Star Wars fan. And I was like, all right, well, we'll just leave here and just go on, like, you know, the great movie ride or whatever, just get on something else. And as we were leaving, her friend ran into one of her friends, who was actually there working, and it was like, all right, well, I'll just get you guys to the front. So she took us all the way around. We were in, like, the employee area. So we went past the normal line. We went past the fast pass line. And we went, basically, this is the line for, like, handicapped people, I believe. Because there's there someone in a wheelchair when we got to the end. And their family members. So I don't know exactly how they do that. But that's where that person was in the, in the wheelchair. So we went all the way up to there. And she was like, you know, I got these three. And we got there. And it was like, we left at the perfect time. Like, we waited, I think we were in line for maybe five or so minutes, and I was looking around because they had a whole setup where it was, like, video stuff going on, so I was taking pictures of a bunch of random stuff, and I was like, we should probably do something else because I got this for later, so we left at the perfect time, we got to see the ride, it was super amazing, um, after that, I believe we went to do the Great Movie Ride, which is basically Disney teamed up with Turner Classic Movies. And it's a it was a really simple ride. You just sit down, and it's one of the kind of the slow moving rides where you go through and look at set pieces. But it was still really cool because I kind of like a lot of older movies and stuff like that. So you go through a lot. If you think of a classic movie, it was probably there. So they went through, of course, Casablanca. They had a setup for uh, The Wizard of Oz. They had a thing for Alien, which was... I really liked the Alien one because they had, like, ooze dropping out of the wall at one point. I was like, that's gross, but that's that perfectly fits. They had two different parts where the alien jumps out. There's one where it comes from the ceiling. And then another... Uh, we had to turn around to see it because we were actually, like, closer to the front. And there was, like, two or three cars um, in one. I think it was two cars in one. But they had a part where the alien, you can see it's like kind of curled into the wall, and then it actually comes out a little later as you're going past it. So that was pretty cool. And they had a you know a ton of classic movie scenes, and they actually have it where uh, their operators switch out in the middle of the ride, and it's kind of a part of the ride where they put on a little show. So that was pretty cool, too. And I enjoyed that. I thought that was really fun. So that was a nice little thing. Also, super fast line, very simple. It fits a ton of people at once, so that was probably why the line was so fast. And maybe it wasn't the most popular, but it was actually a really fun ride. I was like, this is super cool. It's a simple little ride, but it's very enjoyable. It was really funny. The person that uh, we went on the ride with, he was really funny, and, you know, he was into it and stuff, so it was really funny. But had a great time with that. Went to see uh, the Indiana Jones show. I only saw, like, the first part of the show, which was good, because I had my fast pass for Star Tours, and I was like... I gotta go see that again because I loved it and that ride actually changes which uh, my girlfriend's friend mentioned to me after we got off like you should definitely go back to it later because it's different when you get on it and I actually got to see a different experience my second time on it so that was really cool too I got to see I don't know if it's more than two but I at least got two experiences so I got a different one for each ride and I was like that's really awesome so I was super excited about that I was very happy and it's just an awesome ride if you get to go go to the Hollywood Studios that's my that's what I would say if you're a huge fan of Star Wars. That's where you really have to go. There's no Star Wars anywhere else. But that was really cool. Um, the Tower of Terror didn't have a super long line, so my girlfriend did actually get to go on that uh, with me, and we got in there super fast once again. And that was in the normal line, and it was still, like, almost... It felt instant, almost. Like, we went in, and there was hardly a wait, and we got to do the ride, and it was super fun, and we got off. Uh, we met up with my family after that, and then they all went on Star Tours, and we waited because my aunt went there and um she had my baby cousin which is why we started at magic kingdom in general so i was like you know what if you want me to take her because she was two so of course she couldn't get on any rides so I was like if you want me to take her then you know you can get on and my aunt was like that she's like okay and she walked and got in and it was so funny but it was like she of course was with her the whole day so she didn't get to ride anything except for like the super kitty rides so it was like you know whatever like i love the ride but let them have fun with it because it's, it's such a great ride and plus i'd already seen it twice so it was like 
you know, that would be super selfish to not let my aunt, you know, be able to go on this fun ride. So basically the whole family went on and me and my girlfriend stayed with my baby cousin and that was cool. She fortunately didn't cry or anything. So that was fun and then um, we waited a little bit and then we went into the Star Wars story because they had a ton of stuff in there and what they had in there that I wanted to do was make droids and so we waited a little bit because we knew the line wasn't super long for that and then we kind of met up with them in the store as I was building the droids and I actually built two of them so I built this one right here I have to take it all the way back so it's in focus but basically you get I think it was like two for 23 of course that's insanely expensive for like this but I really liked it because it was like I can make my own droids obviously I had to do the top hat and plus you get to name them which I haven't done yet and you get to actually put them in plastic um, and so I thought that was another element too I just got the little like the actual Disney symbols and stuff like that so I was like you know it's one of those exclusive things where it's like you can't really get it anywhere like I'm sure I could buy that stuff online but it also wouldn't be a droid that I made myself or named myself. I could probably name it myself, but I wouldn't have made it myself and that sort of thing. And maybe I, you know, it would be even more expensive, someone, you know, trying to make money off of it and sending it to me in the plastic and all that. So it's like, I want to get these two droids because I want to, it was really the only thing I got from either um, amusement park, really. I only got my little droids and that was it. So had a good time with that, made my little droids, went through a bunch of them too. I was like, all right. The first one I did was super easy because I basically just did black, white, and gray. Like, that's how I normally do all my video game characters and stuff. I was like, simple character, top hat, very awesome. And then this one, I was like, I want to do something a little crazy outside of my normal color scheme. So that's why I ended up with the orange and white and black and gray. I was trying to do a bunch of crazy stuff. Like, they had purple um, stuff. And you didn't even have to make R2 units. I just happened to make two R2 units because I liked them a little more. But... You know, they had, um, I don't know the name of the other ones, but the one that kind of has the cone-shaped head, they had, it was really that one in R2 units, I'd say. But it was cool, and they had, you know, um, Oswald, uh, the Lucky Rabbit, they had his ears and stuff, and top hats, and, like, the Imperial hats. Uh, you could do it with no hat and stuff like that, so it was really cool. They had a ton of options, and a lot of people would make some and just leave them around if they weren't going to actually buy them. They'd just make them and kind of send them up there. I knocked one behind the thing, so I was like, oops. Um, that was definitely an accident, but I'm sure someone's paid to, you know, pick up all the droid stuff all over during the day. But that was really cool. They had another Star Wars store at the other end of Hollywood Studios, which was, um, it's called like the Star Bay or Star Wars Bay or something like that. And it's almost like a little mini museum a little bit, and that's where some of the characters are, um, throughout the day. And you can kind of take pictures with characters and stuff. And they had a little, they had um, the Disney Infinity thing for the Star Wars setup so kids could go in there and play um, the Disney Infinity Star Wars characters. And they had another giant store and they had memorabilia in there, they had art in there. You could buy like the Star Wars FX lightsaber, so you could buy Kylo Ren's, you could buy um, Luke's lightsaber. And they had a couple other ones as well. They had a cool light up uh, lightsaber umbrella where the actual handle lit up, the umbrella part didn't, but the handle itself would light up and they had both uh, blue and red. And I looked at it, I was like, ooh, that's cool. And then I saw the price, and it was like $62. I was like, it doesn't rain that much for me. And I, I always wear this hat, so I'm not, not that bothered. But it was really fun there. It did rain that day, too. So that was one of the things we were uh, kind of worried about, like, oh, we won't get to see fireworks. Because my girlfriend was saying that the Magic Kingdom fireworks are, like, really, really cool. So after we did our whole thing at Hollywood Studios, we had another Fast Pass. Um, oh, I didn't mention the uh, Rock and Roller Coaster, the Aerosmith thing. That was really cool. I really loved that one. We Fortunately, that was pretty fast, so we got on that ride really quick. And that was like, there were two, like, out of the rides we got on, there were two real roller coaster rides. And it was the Rocking Roller Coaster featuring Aerosmith, and then uh, Space Mountain, which we did actually get on later in, at the end of the day. But the Rocking Roller Coaster was really cool. And it's one of those things where they do, like, the countdown, and it kind of pumps you up because it counts down. And then when it hits go, that thing takes off. And it was really fast. And it was like, a real roller coaster and it had flips and the spins and everything so I loved that one and it had music playing uh, that correlated to some of the stuff you got to see because they'd have like um, the cardboard setups and stuff and it would say like Hollywood and it would be stuff named after the songs or you know visuals based on the lyrics and the songs and uh, I was going through there I was like holding my hat because it was like you know I asked my girlfriend right before as we were sitting I was like does this like do flips and she was like I think it does and I was like well time to hold my hat so I was holding my hat and I was freaking out my uh, necklace uh, like the African necklace I normally wear 
I was like, oh crap, I could feel it, like, it flew up and, like, hit my mouth, and I was like, oh crap, I don't know if this will fly off, too, um, just because I, I, like, had, I made a new string, and I was like, I hope this thing is tight enough not to, like, snap when we do, like, a hard turn or something, so I was, I was basically like this the whole time, holding my, uh, necklace in place and holding my hat so it didn't, like, they didn't, like, fly off into the darkness, but it was a really fun ride, it was, you know, it was, it was a theme park ride, so it wasn't like it lasted forever, but it actually lasted, um, a, a decent amount of time. I enjoyed that one, so that was cool. So, once we did everything, we got out of there, and we went back to the Magic Kingdom. Uh, the bus ride felt like it took forever for some reason. I mentioned it took like 10 to 15 minutes when we left to go to Hollywood Studios. It felt like it took twice as much time to get back to the Magic Kingdom, and I mentioned that uh, to my girlfriend after we got off, I was like, it felt like it took forever, and she was like, I know, so I was like, it wasn't just me thinking that, and it was like, it wasn't that I was just tired and stuff, it was like, it just really took forever, for some reason, I don't know, maybe that's a rule they have, where the bus drivers have to go slower at night, and I wouldn't be surprised, because Disney has, like, a ton of crazy rules, like, my girlfriend told me, because she used to work there, you can't point like this, uh, if you work at Disney, you have to point like this, or like that, because to do this is rude, so you point with two fingers or four fingers, so they got crazy rules. So it wouldn't surprise me if bus drivers had to drive slower at night for the safety of passengers and stuff. But it felt like it took a hundred million years compared to when we got there. But we got back, uh, we were going to go to the ride that we had set up, which was the Barnstormer. And then the fireworks uh, started up. They had like this little pre-show, which we thought were the fireworks. And at first, I was about to be super disappointed because my girlfriend was talking about these fireworks and all this. And I was like, that was the fireworks? Because they shot off like one thing at the very end. And I was like, those are the fireworks? She was like, no, that's not it. That's something new. And I was like, oh, because I was about to be super mad if I missed a ride just for that stupid crap. But um, they had like a visual thing on the castle where they went through like a bunch of different movies and stuff. And they would have like, they had like Wreck-It Ralph where he's like breaking all the windows and stuff. And, um... Fix it, Felix would fix it and stuff. So they had some cool stuff, but uh, for me, it was like I'd much rather have seen the ride. But because they did, then it was like, oh well, the fireworks already started. It was like, well, we might as well watch them. And then it wasn't the fireworks, and I was a little disappointed. But the fireworks started up like a minute after that. So once again, it was like, well, we're already here, so we might as well watch it. And I still wish I went to the ride instead, because the fireworks weren't that amazing to me, like, at all. They were, honestly, except for the very end, which is a typical fireworks finale, where they shot off a bunch of fireworks and it lit up, like, it was bright and stuff. Outside of that, I was like, that was nothing to me, and I wish we got on that Barnstormer ride. But didn't end up doing that, but we did get on Space Mountain, because they gave us the ticket after it broke down earlier in the day. So, got on Space Mountain you know, flew through that, nice little ride, and then as we were leaving, um, we got some Dole Whip, which my girlfriend, was another thing my girlfriend was talking up, that I liked, uh, the fireworks, kind of disappointed, but I liked the Dole Whip thing, which basically was, it was like the pineapple version of a root beer float, it was just pineapple juice, and then pineapple sherbet ice cream on top, and it was really good, I like sherbet tasting ice cream, so that was nice, plus it was the end of the night, which we were there for probably about 13 hours or so, so it was perfect, because we were trapped in line, uh, waiting for the ferry, because it was, like, actually closing time, so we were waiting for the ferry, because they have one ferry that takes you from the Magic Kingdom to the entrances, and I think they had buses, but by the time we thought about that, the line had already moved in, and I couldn't, like, jump out and stuff, and it was like, well, the, you know, it was so many people, I couldn't just jump out and check, and then get back in line so we were just waiting there and it was super hot and of course that's just florida so this is really nothing on disney it was just super hot the thing about the ferry i thought was a little annoying that they'd have like one ferry at a time especially at the end of the night going from the parks to the main entrance so that i thought was a little annoying like why wouldn't they have like three ferries at a time they should have you'd think they'd have that in general like there should be like three ferries at a time period going from the entrance to every single park uh, that can be, you know, um, that can be found, you know, going through the water. But we waited for that, then we, you know, we got out, and everything was said and done. But ultimately, I had a good time. Outside of sort of the bookends of the Magic Kingdom and, you know, some of my disappointment as far as, you know, going to the fireworks, I was a little disappointed with that, and that's more on my girlfriend than the Magic Kingdom. I'm, you know, and, you know, it's fireworks, so for me, it was just like, that's kind of nothing to me. And 
I kind of figured, I was like, this is just going to be fireworks. And as usual, whenever I think something's going to be just normal to me, that's exactly what it is. It comes out and I'm just like, yep, that's like every other fireworks show. And we just seen a fireworks show recently and she mentioned the Disney stuff. And so I really thought it was going to be like this huge thing that I really loved. The coolest thing they had was there's a girl that comes out of the tower every night dressed as Tinkerbell. And she's in like a light up suit and she comes down a string, which would make me pee on myself if I had to do that. But kudos to her you know every girl that ends up doing that because it looks really cool and she comes down and she's waving the wand and stuff and she's and they got the light up wings and the light up outfit and she just goes over everybody and she comes out of like the tallest part of uh the castle and she goes down on this wire and it looks really freaking cool it's like a light up tinkerbell and she just flies over everybody so very cool um but outside of that it was like mm, fireworks for me the latin part was awesome i love aladdin so everything aladdin is great um but it was fine, you know, it was normal, but ultimately, of course, it's Disney World, go to Disney World, because it's, it's Disney World. Plan ahead, though, because I had, there are so many things I found out, like, I didn't know Disney World has three freeway exits, Disney World has its own freeway within the parks to get to the other parks, it's got a monorail to get from this park to that park, a, a billion different things. So, still working, it's Disney World, just definitely prepare ahead of time, otherwise you will wait in line. Use that Fast Pass thing, because no matter what, if you buy a ticket, you automatically get the Fast Pass stuff. So, if you know you'll be able to get there early, definitely do that. Set it up, I mean, you have to set it up for one park at a time anyway, so set stuff up for like 9am and stuff like that. Get to the park and just go nuts with the Fast Pass thing and you know, try to make it work. See if you can actually kind of get... A bunch try to get like all fast pass rides or you know Hollywood Studios was fairly light you know when we went so that was great for us too but had a good time of course if you've been to Disney World would love to know your experience with it um, regardless of what the park was like I said I touched the Magic Kingdom and then I kind of went through like all of the Hollywood Studios portion but like little excuse me a little bit of Magic Kingdom didn't even see anything else I saw the golf ball ball thing from Epcot and that was it I didn't see any of the other parks but we'd love to know your experience if you've been to um, any part of Disney World so please comment below let me know and of course thanks for watching